Okay, we're going to do Katie's color refresh. This is her hair all faded out. And we're going to use the viral shampoos. So first step is she has to get her hair wet. Turn and say hi, Katie. Hi. Okay, so she's going to get her hair wet in the shower, and then we're going to put her color shampoos on. And you got to do lukewarm water. You don't want your color fading out. So cold is best, but where we're refreshing, she's going to just get her hair wet with lukewarm. I don't have to freeze me. Nope, just lukewarm to get okay. it wet. That's a little better than when I've had the shower the last couple days. Oh, it's still cold. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so she's getting it wet and we'll be right back to show you the application of the fashion color. Okay, we're gonna do Katie's refresh color. She has her hair wet. We're going to section it out in four sections because her hair is really thick. If your hair's thinner, you can do just like two or three. Use a clip, clip it up, and we don't want her blue getting in her yellow. So I'm taking Olaplex number two, putting it in the yellow because we're still happy with that color. We don't feel like we need to ref refresh that yet. We're wanting to refresh this band. So her pink's good, her purple's good, but where we put her blue and mint, we're going to just refresh this panel of color most colors, you just have one color shampoo. So we're gonna take our wet brush, kind of comb it out first. And then for her color, so there's still pigment in there. You can see there's some, it's kind of like a greeny blue color right there. If you don't have Olaplex, that's okay. Just put a conditioner wherever you don't want it to bleed into. So for her color, we're gonna do our turquoise viral color wash and the trick for these is the shampoos if you let them set 20 minutes you'll get like a full color deposit like if you just refresh your color so we're using the turquoise and the baby blue so we have her mint here and the blue here what i'm going to do is we're just cocktailing both of these and we're going to just put it on this whole panel through her whole hair and then we're letting it sit for 20 minutes, then we'll wash it out. So that we're doing the baby blue first. Normally I put this on my wet brush and comb it through the hair when we're wanting a full color refresh, but we're, we're just doing a panel of her color. I'm doing it. Bowling pins of color Wasn't shampoo. that a train reaction? Okay, so I'm cocktailing the turquoise and baby blue. It looks way darker than it will really deposit, but we're gonna just kind of massage it into this panel in that transition and stopping at her yellow. Okay, so then we'll grab her next section and section this out. If it gets a little blue, it's not the end of the world. Okay, so here's our next panel. Clip that back up. And this is the side of her face now, so I'm gonna actually break this in two chunks. Okay, and I, before we started, I put the Olaplex through her ends. So this yellow already has Olaplex through the ends, but obviously if you don't have Olaplex, you'd want to do just a conditioner, whatever repair conditioner you have. So you can see I'm using what's left on my hands, but it doesn't see how there's not like a ton of deposit compared to this piece. And that's why you need to get different amounts for each section because it lathers really good but wherever you put the deposit you can see the difference that's a lot of shampoo deposit this is just lather deposit 
So you have to have fresh color on each section for it to be balanced. So get our baby blue again. And I'm just using equal parts, baby blue to turquoise. Oh, about dropped that again. Okay, so turquoise to the baby blue. So half and half, crop pillows together. And then we're gonna put it right in that panel. And you can see I'm really massaging into those sections where we had the blue and the mint. And because there's two colors that we started with, the way this will deposit, even though we cocktail it together, you will still see difference in deposit with this because you had the mint and the blue before. So we're leaving the yellow out. So there will be sections you'll see more blue and sections you'll see more green. It won't be as strong as the first time we did it, but it's still gonna refresh it so she has color here because it had faded out to kind of just a dull blonde color. So you can see here, that's just leather, that's pigments. We need a little more for that piece. And you do use quite a bit of this when you do color shampoo. That's why I tell everybody, make sure you let it sit for the full 20 minutes so you get the biggest bang for your buck to make it last longer. Because Katie's hair, we only really do a color refresh probably once a month because she takes really good care of her fashion color. She washes her hair like once a week on cold water, which is torturous, but if you do cold water, your fashion colors don't bleed out. And then also washing it very sparingly makes it last longer too. And then low, low heat when you use heat tools. If you have fashion color or super blonde hair, if you're going to dry your hair, medium heat, never go high heat with your blow dryer. And then with your heat tools, flat irons, curling irons, all of that, don't go above 280 degrees. So if you have a um, heat tool that has just like one through 10, you want to be on like five. Don't ever go higher than halfway heat if you have blonde highlights or fashion color because you're just gonna burn your hair. And especially with fashion color, you'll notice it burns the color right out of your hair. It'll fade your fashion color instantly just with the heat. So if you wanna take care of your fashion color, always, always low, low heat. Okay, here's our next section. So you can see how this is starting to deposit for us. Okay, head up for me, Katie. Okay, so we're gonna break this in two chunks as well for this next, next section. So you can see the old pigment in there still, and then how it's depositing where we've put the color here. So again, half baby blue. And this turquoise colors is a limited edition. So I don't know if we can get it anymore, but I can make you a turquoise with our custom mixing with the teal and the baby blue. So I can make you whatever color you want for these shampoos with our custom mixing bottles. And then after this deposits, We'll show you her hair right before she washes it out, what it looks like. And then we'll show you what it looks like after she washes it out and we'll round brush dry it so you can see the color refresh. That's all included in that bit. Can you turn your head to the window a little bit? Thank you. Okay, so I'm just using up what's on my fingers and we're gonna get a little bit more for that section. So each, each time I'm mixing, it's about the size of a nickel of each color for each little section we're getting. So 
cocktail those together. Okay, keep looking at the window, please. You can see I really massage that in. And this shampoo gives a really great lather. So normally we put it through her whole hair when we're just refreshing. Like her fire ombre, we usually will do the red to the yellow and blend them together. So today is different than what we normally do because she has her Easter egg hair. Okay, so let's do this side. We're gonna break it in four chunks because her hair is very thick. Is it that bad? Turn toward the wall, please. Yep, you and I have very thick hair. If you guys have any questions about these shampoos, let me know. They are 35 for the shampoos and they also make color conditioners that we have right now. I have the turquoise conditioner. I have the rose gold and the coral conditioner and the blue conditioner. So if you are overwhelmed with trying to do with conditioner, you can do the, I mean the shampoo. If the shampoo looks a little too intimidating. The conditioner doesn't, you know, drip as much. The conditioners are also not quite as pigmented, but you still, if you let them sit for the 20 minutes, it gives you that deep condition plus color deposit. On these bottles, it says you can just wash for five minutes, which you totally can. The more you use these, the more pigment deposits, but because it is expensive, I try to get the more bang for the buck let it sit for the full 20 minutes every time. And then we only use it about once a month. But you can do it as often as you want. So my silver clients with the silver shampoo and conditioner, you really do need to wash your hair every time with it. Because silver is the most high maintenance color. So you use the silver shampoo and the conditioner to keep the hair silver. Because silvers fade out to blonde super quick. So that's the only fashion color that I would say you need to use it every time you shampoo is the silver. So these little yellow ends that have green in it, are they gonna stay green? They may have a little bit, but not a lot. Okay, two sections left. Then we'll set a timer for 20 minutes and then Katie will wash it out. And it's not 100% the exact same mix every time I put this on my hands. So that's the other fun thing about it too. We'll get different tones of the turquoise and baby blue together because it's not the exact measurement of each color every time we mix it on here. Mom. Hold on, bud. I'm doing a video. I kind of feather it, massage it up into where the transfer from the lavender to the blue is. So it won't be like super harsh lines. If you want a color black look, you can. But Katie and I both like more of a smooth transition when we do our colors, right Katie? Mm -hmm. We don't like a real blocky color, even though color blocking definitely is in right now. Katie and I definitely like more smooth transition in our colors. And it's just an artistic preference, I think. I think it looks good on other people. I just don't like it on myself. Yeah.
Okay, so you can see where we started is really nice, rich, deep tones. These are just barely starting. So we're gonna let it sit 20 minutes and then we'll have her wash it out and we'll do a little video right before she washes it out and then after she washes it out too. So we will be back in a second. Okay, Katie's going to wash it out. See how it's nice and deposited for her little Easter egg head? Okay, go ahead and wash it out. Lukewarm, I'm not making her do cold, but you can see how it got on her skin a little bit. Everybody's always paranoid, like, well, it stayed my skin, well, it ruined my shower, and it comes right off. So there's no need to worry about that. You can see where we have the Olaplex, it's gonna keep that from getting blue on her end so she washes it out. So she's gonna rinse that out and she hasn't washed her hair in about a week. So we're gonna have her, after she rinses that, we use the Diva Curl well, on our hair. Gone. It's, all it's not, you'll see when it's dry. Um, so I'm gonna have her rinse out the color shampoo and you just let it run out till it's, you know, clear. It's fine. Katie, you'll be fine, I promise. Wait till it gets dry. Um, and then she's gonna use Diva Curl and we're gonna show you what that looks like. Diva Curl is a no poo, so it doesn't lather. It's like washing your hair with conditioner. We both have natural curl, but even people without natural curl, I recommend the Diva Curl for fashion color because it doesn't make the color bleed out of your hair. So you can see Katie's got some regrowth, her natural color there. Uh, we usually only do color refresh on both of our hair about every five months because our hair does not like bleach. It gets very angry when we lighten it. So right now she's using the cleanse. You can see it's like a conditioner. And you gotta really scrub it in to get to the scalp because we have very, very thick hair. She has her new nails we did. We forgot to show everybody. I'm just seeing them as she's washing her hair. We didn't take a picture of her new nails that we did. And Katie's gonna do my nails today, right, Precious? Oh. <laughs> I've been asking her for three days. She goes, I don't wanna do it. <laughs> you made me wait two months. Yeah, Only because I was busy. So you can see this is a no poo, no lather, but it gives the gets the hair nice and clean. And then after she rinses the cleanse off, she's gonna do the condition. And when we do wash her hair, we usually cocktail this with our old flex number two, um, just because our hair is very dry all the time especially after a fashion color. So it gives a really nice repair. Here's the Olaplex too. We have the big back bar size. <laughs> well, <Oops. laughs> she just shot it all over. It. So we cocktail it together. Um, the one they sell for at home use for clients, it's the Olaplex number three which I can get for you okay, if you want. Mixing, mixing, mixing. So there's her cocktailing the Olaplex and the condition together. And then if you want to do a deep condition, you can let that soak on your hair for another 20 minutes. If you want to, you know, if you're at home and you're quarantined, this is a whole hair health day you can do to your hair. Make it feel soft and silky. Katie's impatient, so she'll probably let it set two minutes and then rinse it out. Cause she's like over her hair today. <laughs> I've just been standing in the shower for 20 minutes. Hey, you got your legs shaved. Two, okay. two in one, two birds with one stone, hair and leg shaved. And see, because I haven't washed my hair in so long, it's all that's not that much. My hands are always full of hair when I wash it's my hair. It's doable. 
whole lot to me. And then after we get this rinsed out, I'm gonna round brush it out for her. That was our bribery to get her to let me do this today. She's like, I don't wanna do that right now. I go, I'll round brush her hair. She's like, ooh, maybe. Because after I round brush her hair, she'll go a whole week without washing it. And when you have super thick hair like ours, round brushing it makes it feel like half the thickness. So it's nice and smooth and you can run your fingers through it without all the curly tangles. Okay, so we're going to get this dry, brown brushed out, and then we'll have her show it off to you. Here we go. Let's see it. Kitty's new fresh color. Her blue all refreshed. I you, love it. You've got that little chunk on that one side. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's kind of red your fingers. It's a little bit wet it's still right there, so it's a little bit, but... Her blue is nice and refreshed. She has her Easter egg hair all refreshed. So pretty. Okay, hold it still there so you can. <laughs> it's large. She's, it's a little bit wet still, but. I tried, Mom. Okay, there we go. 